automated attendants are used to provide a brief message and route calls. You can create an automated attendant that plays at all times or have different automated attendants that play when your office is open or closed. From the Manage Services dropdown, select Phone. Select the plus sign next to Account and select Automated Attendant. Let's get started by managing our settings. To modify settings, click Manage Automated Attendant. Click the pencil icon. Select the appropriate time schedule here. If you want the same automated attendant to play at all times, select All Day, Every Day. If you created a schedule with business hours, select that schedule instead. For example, you might have created a schedule to cover Monday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and labeled it Business Hours. If you created a holiday schedule, then select it here. If you do not see the option you would like in either of these dropdowns, please add a new schedule. The previous video provides instructions. Next, select the name dialing settings. They determine how a caller can search for a user in your company when they reach the automated attendant. Next, the extension dialing settings are used to enable or disable callers from dialing any user's extension when they reach the automated attendant. Click on the green check mark to save changes. Automated Attendant Keypad Menu and Greeting. The keypad dialing options are the options given to a caller once they reach the attendant. You can choose to update your business hours and after hours dialing menu options. The business hours automated attendant will play when your business is open. The after hours automated attendant will work when your business is closed. Let's start with the business hours automated attendant. Select Update Business Hours Automated Attendant. To add a new option, select Add New Key. You do not need to use all of the keypad options given. Next, define the routing action. Click What's This to read the available routing actions. I'm going to select Transfer Without Prompt. Next, enter the phone number you'd like this keypad option to dial. In this example, I'd like to add Matteo, who is in our sales department. But I could also add any 10-digit phone number here, even if it was not a Comcast phone number. My next keypad option is going to allow the user to go directly to a voicemail box. I'm going to select Transfer Without Prompt again. Then, I'm going to add star 55, followed by the last four digits of the automated attendant. Now, when the caller dials this option, they can leave a message in the automated attendance voicemail box. Click the Save and Continue button when complete. Next, you can record or upload a greeting and instructions. We recommend that you include a brief message, then verbally describe each keypad option for the caller. For example, Welcome to our company. Press 1 to reach sales. Press 2 to reach marketing. Press 3 to leave a voicemail.